Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Exchange, live from Hollywood, Florida and inside ETFs. As a reminder, today's interview is for informational purposes only. The NYC does not recommend investments or investment strategies. Now, I'm joined today by Christian Magoon. He is the CEO of Amplify ETFs. Christian, thank you for joining. Great to be here and happy to be in Florida with you. Yes, yeah, fantastic. And a lot of advisors here. I know you and your team are having a lot of conversations. What are you talking about? Well, debt ceiling is a big issue right now, given uh, kind of the uncertainties. Also, kind of where is the Fed? Uh, is a pause coming? Uh, what are they going to do? You know, market maybe is looking at now two more rate increases as of today. So a lot of uh, government and monetary policy on advisors' mind seems like it's making them more cautious in their asset allocation. Yeah, I agree. I sat in a few sessions. It seems like people are looking at yield, income, uh, worried about rates, wondering where the markets are going. When you, though, as CEO of Amplify, when you look out at the markets, do you see opportunities out there? Yeah, we sure do. Um, probably our biggest opportunity is looking at higher quality companies. I mean, this year the S&P is up around eight or nine percent, but you know, which a lot of people don't realize. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. But when you look at the kind of breadth of the market, you know, five largest companies are up fifty percent. It's really top heavy. Uh, when you get into the weeds, you can see some high quality companies that are selling at some, we think, some attractive valuations and may actually help you weather some of this uh, kind of ramp up in equities, this increased risk appetite due to some of the geopolitical government concerns that are out there. So we think high quality is a way to be kind of cautious given all these uncertainties. Are there ETFs in your lineup that sort of play to that factor? Yeah, so our Devo ETF uh, was just uh, nominated as one of six ETFs to be finalist for ETF of the year. And that's a high quality blue chip uh, uh, stock por portfolio that has the ability to write covered calls. So you get uh, option income as well as dividend income to the tune of about 5%. But Doug, that's probably not the leading part of the story. The leading part of the story is its total return potential. Uh, total returns over the last three years annualized have been 15% a year for Devo, which is pretty attractive in today's environment, especially when you're uh, investing in blue chip companies. So we think that's an alternative for people to look at, maybe not chase some of the high flying growth names this year. We certainly have those ETFs in our lineup, but not many flows have gone to them. Instead, people are looking for more uh, value oriented, value tilted products like Devo. We think they're well positioned, especially in this time of uncertainty. Yeah, and again, ticker symbol DIVO. Uh, Christian, I have to ask, you've got a big lineup of ETFs, but tough question for you. Do you have a favorite ETF? Oh, that's a tough one for sure. Um, I think maybe one of the interesting ones for me is the BAT ETF. Uh, so this is an ETF that focuses on really the electrification of fossil fuels. So it owns not only the mining companies of these unique metals and materials that are important for kind of batteries, but also the technology behind batteries. And then finally, some of the uh, electric vehicle companies that are primary users of these battery technologies. So I think that's going to be a game changing ETF as we move kind of worldwide into electrification of fossil fuels in terms of transportation, in terms of energy storage, in terms of clean energy. And this is one ETF, BAT, that kind of gets you access to that whole trade in one single ETF. Now, again, if you're listening in, you want to learn about whether it's BAT, Devo, any of the Amplify ETFs, their website, fantastic. Go to AmplifyETFs.com. I'm there all the time. I'm reading their research. Also, let's say you end this, this video and you're thinking, wait, what was that battery ETF? What, what was the symbol? You go to ETFcentral.com for all your ETF needs. You don't even have to remember BAT. You just type in battery, you will find BAT, or you can type in Amplify, you'll find all their ETFs, all at ETF Central, all for free, and all brought to you by none other than the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.